and I'm here on set for Kavisa today. I'm going to be your hair and makeup artist and I'm going to be taking you through step by step some amazing looks we've got today. By the end of this you'll be an expert I'm going to take you through some really really simple steps to create some amazing looks. So this is our natural look, really really natural makeup, it's almost a no makeup makeup. So we're basically going to just pay special attention to the skin, just getting it look really nice and glowy. Um, hardly any makeup on the eyes at all um, and no makeup on the lips. Slight bit of colour in the cheeks just to give you a little bit of colour and that is basically it. Alright, so we're going to go straight in just under the eye here. Because under the eye, when it does look slightly dark, isn't necessarily anything that you're tired or anything like that, which is people, it does tend to accentuate it, but it's basically because the skin is so thin under the eyes that it's the blood that you can see through. So always conceal under there, just to make sure that there's no dark patches under there. So just a really, really light conceal. We don't want anything too heavy through there. And we're gonna do that under the eyes, and then we're just gonna apply the foundation all over the skin. All right, so what we're doing is, we're just going in with the foundation, and because it's a daytime foundation, I have mixed it with a little bit of moisturizer and a little bit of illuminator. So it's just gonna give a lighter coverage for during the day and a nice dewy finish, which is what we want during the day. We don't want anything too heavy at all, um, because in the daylight you can see every part of the makeup, and if it's too heavy, it sometimes doesn't look so pleasing on the eye during the day. just buffing this into the skin and make sure you do buff the foundation into the skin because otherwise it will just sit on the skin um, and you really need to work it into the skin so I'm just using circular motions to do that and you can just see we're getting a really nice glow finish the foundation now really nice dewy glow that we've got there we don't want to pan that down with any powder at all if you must if you do get quite an oily t-zone then powder around there but then we tend to leave the rest of the areas nice and dewy. So I've loaded this brush with a cream blusher. It's a lot lighter and a lot dewier on the skin. You just smile for me Laura and we're just going to go around in some little circles through here and just take it really nice and light. I do find that uh, cream blushes are nicer to be put on with a brush. I just feel if they're on with the fingers they can be a little bit liney sometimes. So that's pretty much all we need on there. And then we're gonna move on to the eyes and we're simply just going to pop a tiny little bit of contour into the eye so that they're a little bit stronger and pop mascara on there. natural look it's absolutely beautiful it's fresh it's dewy and it's perfect for your summer's days uh, we've just basically used a little bit of contouring under the eyes and what I mean by that is it's just a little bit of strength of a shadow into the lash line and we've used a cream blusher which gives that really dewy glow nothing on the lips just a little bit of Vaseline actually um, and that's your look complete really really simple mm -hmm. 